Maura, estás como guapa hoy. ¿De verdad? Solo hoy. Gracias. Siempre. Today, let's do some flirting. Flirting is a wide open concept to me that has as many variations as people in the world. But certainly, there are commonalities that could work with most people in most situations. Let's check out how to be flirtatious in Spanish, part 3. Empecemos. Número 1. Casually use cute nicknames. Chiqui, pásame el sacacorchos, porfa. Claro, bella, toma. ¿Tú quieres? Baby, si tú quieres, yo quiero. Qué bobo, toma. I had no idea, but the script made me realize that I have so many things to say about flirting, like brace yourself, because I have a ton of wisdom coming your way. Esto de los apodos es muy importante en Venezuela. I'm sure the same would be true for many Latin American countries. Es genial porque no tiene por qué significar nada, pero podría. What it does is create closeness. It's like lightly touching someone's arm, for example, but verbally. Most of the nicknames I used are gender neutral, which is great. They were Chiqui, which is short for chiquito or chiquita, but has no gender. Baby, it's an English word we use very naturally and, as you know, no gender. Que bobo. This could easily be que boba in the feminine and work as well. Be very kind with these teasing nicknames. Utilízalos solo con personas que ya conozcas. Now, bella is something people mostly say to women. Anyone can say it though. My girlfriends and I call each other bella all the time. Other gender neutral nicknames could be cielo, amor, cariño. Anyone can use all of these with anyone. <laughs> Chunk alert. Si tú quieres, yo quiero. Isn't the most obviously flirting chunk, but if the context allows for it, it will be. Y uno bueno. It can work as a hint, or it can be received very literally. Puedes usarlo después de que te hayan ofrecido cualquier cosa. A drink, a dance, a next date. My offer to you is our free essential Spanish chunking kit, which you can get if you click the link in the description. Download it and take care of the basics. Número 2. Flutter something other than their looks. I'm saving my absolute don'ts for the end and what to do instead. We'll see. Maybe you learn something new. Maybe there are don'ts in your culture too. ¿Cómo has estado? Bueno, un poco patas arriba con muchas pelotas en el aire. Pero ya mejor. Encontrando un poquito de balance. ¿Y tú? Bien. Nada del otro mundo. Perdón, es que me está costando concentrarme. Eh, ¿Por qué has estado tan patas arriba? Cosas, el trabajo, estoy reparando las paredes de mi casa, familia que viene de visita. Normal, pareces el tipo de persona que siempre tiene algo que hacer. ¿Por qué? Porque eres interesante. If love is one of your motivations for learning Spanish, you're not alone. Es probablemente una de las mejores y más poderosas razones para aprender idiomas. For pickup lines to use with fully new people you're just approaching, make sure to check out this video by Paulissima. From that dialogue we get. Perdón, es que me está costando concentrarme. In case you missed it in the dialogue, You're struggling to focus because you're so enchanted by the other person. This works wonders. Estás diciendo un montón con muy poco. Make sure you do pay attention to what's been said, though. Which takes us to our next chunk. ¿Por qué has estado tan patas arriba? This question could work just as any other. Just learn your question chunks and have them ready. Things like... ¿Cómo te has sentido con eso? ¿Qué tal te va con eso? ¿Cómo lo llevas? All of those would work with most things and they do the number one thing flirting should do. Show actual interest in the other person. Pareces el tipo de persona que... 
Use this with people you don't know very well. If you do know them, say, eres el tipo de persona que, instead of pareces. You can add anything nice that applies right after, like, pareces el tipo de persona que se preocupa por los demás. Pareces el tipo de persona que sabe mucho sobre muchas cosas. I want you to tell me your best flirting anecdote in the comments. Please give me the tea. Número 3. Don'ts and what to say instead. ¿Qué tal, flaca? ¿Y si te invito un trago? Vale. Qué bella eres. Bailamos. Mejor nos terminamos el trago primero, ¿no? Bueno, pero te lo puedes llevar o yo te ayudo. Tú dime lo que sea y yo lo hago. Gracias, pero prefiero que no. ¿Por qué tan seca? Un bailecito y se te pasa. Here's a Venezuelan tip. In my native Spanish, we would say, no muestres el hambre. I cannot tell you how many friends of mine, especially normative men, have failed because of this. Muy en general, a los venezolanos no nos gustan las muestras exageradas de interés al principio. Once there's some sort of relationship, it's different, of course. Like, here's another one we would say. Date tu puesto. We grow up hearing things like, no muestres el hambre y date tu puesto. So I figure they're kind of central to our flirting culture. The other don'ts present in that dialogue are Insistir I don't think there's a better turn-off than pressure. So deliver your flirting casually. Ni resultados, ni expectativas. Fijarse demasiado en los rasgos físicos. Especially body-related. And by too much, I mean more than one. If you don't know the person, it's creepy. Paulissima has two very popular videos on how to flirt. Uno de ellos está aquí mismo. She covers a lot of important tips of which I want to emphasize the following. Aunque los medios de comunicación te hagan creer que los latinos son calientes y sexys todo el tiempo, eso es, como puedes adivinar, un estereotipo. Yes, we are friendly and open and we can dance, but do not mistake that for romantic or sexual interest. Y por eso no nos abordes como si viviéramos nuestra vida en una canción de reggaeton. <laughs> ¿Por qué tan seca? Using disguised insults like this one when you're being rejected is lame, childish, and defensive. Encuentra otra manera. Here's another example of this. Es que tú no eres como las demás. Tienes como una belleza natural. Por favor, no intentes halagarme menospreciando a otra gente. No es necesario y es un mal hábito social. What to say instead? Para insistir, di cosas como... Vale, no te quiero molestar, pero si te llega a interesar, me encantaría bailar contigo. Voy a estar por ahí. Buenísimo, gracias. Nos vemos. Para fijarte en rasgos físicos. ¡Qué belleza de ojos tienes! Gracias, a mí me encanta tu estilo. ¡Qué bien bailas! ¡Qué bonita es tu voz! Just keep it classy, general, or if it's focused, focus on their face, their clothes. If the relationship starts, you'll have time and you'll earn the right to remark on the rest. No disfraces insultos o seas condescendiente. Direct the heat towards yourself or acknowledge the other person with chunks like. Perdón, es que me da nervios y digo estupideces. No te preocupes, lo entiendo. Si quisieras bailar conmigo, yo no sé bailar bien, pero si me enseñas, yo te sigo. There is so much sex appealing owning yourself. Don't underestimate the power of acknowledging your weaknesses. Change bailar for anything that applies. I could go on and on about this subject. No wonder this is part three of flirting in Spanish. 
Make sure to click the image on the screen to check out part one with my dear Paulissima. Go learn and get your mojo on in Spanish. Buena suerte!